Okay, so for the lab this week, we're getting thin lenses. Uh, the equation that we'll be using is 1 over s plus 1 over s prime equals 1 over f. s is the object distance, s prime is the image distance, f is the focal length. We'll also be calculating magnification, which can be done either by dividing the height of the image by the height of the object, or uh, minus the image distance over the object distance. Uh, here we have the object, the distance S1 from the lens, which will create an image right here at a distance S1 prime from the lens. The focal length is right there. Uh, for a single lens, this image is always going to be upside down, and it will always be smaller than the object. Uh, you should also note that the object needs to be outside of the focal length in order to get an image at all. Uh, when we put the second lens into the system, the image from the first lens will act as the object for the second lens. Uh, that that image is a distance S2 from the second lens. And then just like before, it will create an image through the second lens at a distance S2 prime from the second lens. This is where your screen will be on the, on the physical apparatus. Uh, the measurements that we will take on the single lens equation will be S1 and S1 prime. Then you'll move your lens, take those measurements again at a different position. For the two lens system, we'll measure S1, D, which is the distance between the two lenses, and S2 prime, which is the distance between your second screen, your second lens and the screen. Right. And then you'll use the thin lens equation, starting with S1 to calculate S1 prime. Once you have S1 prime, you use it and D to calculate S2, then use the thin lens equation again with S2 to calculate S2 prime. After that, you can compare your calculated S2 prime to your measured S2 prime. In today's lab, we will be using a light source with this as an object for uh, our measurements. There's a plug on the top of this where we can uh, label the power supply jack. We plug in the power supply and the light turns on. Initially, the lens and the screen will be out of focus, but by moving the screen, we can get it more in focus. So we find a position at which the image on the screen looks uh, this similar to what you see saw on the light source. In the last experiment of the lab, a second lens will be added, placed uh, beyond where the image for the first lens appeared, and then we will change the position of the screen until we get an image that is in focus.